think you women like. <laughs> oh my god! This is so ironic. Oh. Hey Gems, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be watching Abba and Preach versus <laughs> Fresh and Fit. And no, it's not the beef. Yes, I have been following it, but no, I'm not going to be doing any reaction to the beef. Well, hopefully not. I came across a video where um, Abba and Preach had gone to uh, fresh and fit or they were invited onto fresh and fit and the title of the um, show was men know what they want they don't know how to be wanted and I thought it was so interesting so we're gonna be jumping right into it because I know we're gonna um, come across some gems that we can learn from right and of course my goal for the rest of the year is to hit 7,000 subscribers so please 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 if you do enjoy this content please give it a thumbs up and obviously hit that subscribe button. Come and join the family and let's grow together. I want this community to be a place where it's a safe space for men and women, like-minded men and women, you know, that want to build together, okay, and grow together. So let's just get right into the video. Abba, preach. What are your views on the current dating market and do you join into the current market or are you out of it okay i want to say two things <laughs> i'll be watching these videos on youtube and i'm like where y'all meet these women you feel <laughs> what i'm saying I, and i'm not even going front it's not even like a disrespect it's like some of these people that be coming on the lives and stuff like that just from my personal experience when i was dating in los angeles or when i was dating in in, in in canada for me it wasn't like that it wasn't that extreme but i also filter out a lot of women who i'm like this is a waste of time i could just tell by the, the pictures you choose and what you like to promote on instagram that like Character is probably not your priority. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So there's sometimes where I'm watching these videos and I'm just like, Shorty's bugging, but I would have never figured it out because I would have extra well before we even get to the spot. You know what I mean? Damn. If homegirl's waiting for me to pull up in a Tesla and take her somewhere, she's probably not the girl for me. You mean? <laughs> even though I got the money for it, yeah. it's not how I would roll in because I'm like, you in it for the wrong reason. So I don't even mess with people who move different like that. Mm. Um, what I would say about the dating market today to answer your question, here's what I think. I think a lot of people, they they don't understand. They don't understand. They understand what they want. They don't understand how to be wanted. Does that make sense? In yes. the sense, of like they understand, like this is what I want in somebody, but they don't understand how to make themselves desirable to other people. That is so so important. Oh my goodness! Because sometimes as women, especially after breakups or after things go wrong in a situation ship or anything like that, we say, okay, we've got to focus on ourselves. We've got to live our best life. We've got to become the best versions of ourselves. And the thing that we, some of us struggle to put together or align is that, yes, being the best version of yourself is absolutely great, but you need to understand the person that you say you want, they also want something. Once we factor in what the person we want, want or desire, in a partner, we can ensure that our qualities align with that as well. So as much as we're working on ourselves and becoming the best versions of ourselves, we're also ensuring that that version is also desirable um, and valuable to the person that we say we want. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, let's keep going. Right. So they invest in the wrong things. This is why when I talk to ladies about well, my career is on point, like nobody cares. <laughs> nobody asked you for that. Yeah, you know I mean, like niggas is not there like, oh, uh, you got a fortune 500. Like, they're not, they're not getting hard because of that, <laughs> right? You could be a bitch at McDonald's and you'd be like, ah. That's it, you know, like this is coming back to what do men place importance in when it comes to women? When they're looking for wives, um, what are the things that they look out for? He's talking about career versus someone who's working at McDonald's and who they will pick over. Does that mean they do not value career driven women as much as those who just genuinely just have a job, right? So it's interesting. It's interesting because I have watched a couple of other podcasts, not with them, but more that I will be reacting to as well so that we can just start having this discussion about having a job, going after a career, as well as wanting to be a wife and have children and build a family. Do those decisions hinder or um, 
minimize the opportunities that you could potentially have in the dating market. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy the content coming, okay? Okay, so make sure you subscribe. <laughs> As a man, when I was growing up, it's like, you have to understand what a lady wanted. Get yourself an apartment. Why? Because no girls want to come back to your mom's basement. I'm, I didn't want an apartment. You think I like paying rent? I hated that shit. Yeah. If my mom didn't bother me, I would have stayed home forever. <laughs> but I wanted to get laid. So I had to do what was necessary because that's what they wanted. Yes. And I wanted to get with ladies, right? What, what else did I have to do? I had to make sure that I put in some effort on the outfit <laughs> when I went out. I had to make sure that, you know, I take her to a half decent spot. I did those things because I understand that's what they wanted. And when I talk to ladies, I'm like, what do women want? A lot of them have no idea. Mm. Or they do know, but they don't invest in them. It's Preacher's reaction for me. Like, by the way, I absolutely love Abba and Preach, okay? I'm a devout supporter of theirs, okay? <laughs> My brother got me onto them, and I just love how versatile they are. They're very, um, I love their integrity, especially when it came to the beef that happened in the whole YouTube sphere absolutely love how they handle themselves um and it's just their views i love their views i love their brain <laughs> i love their soul <laughs> if you know you know hashtag fresh but yeah let's just go so i'm sitting there like and you're and you're sad you don't have any any success and then the last thing i would say and the biggest problem in my opinion is like people don't put in effort they just think they deserve to find somebody inside of this is men and women I talk to dudes. I'm like, yo, how many more women have you approached in the last two years? Five. You do that in a weekend, yeah, my nigga. Fact, like, yeah, you remember, yeah, I, I used to, I used to go up to clubs, and, and you, you had a goal of talking to ten ladies at the club. Yeah. Not on some like, hey, bitch, you trying to fuck? Nothing like that. <laughs> Not on some some gross shit. But you just go up to him like, hey, what's up? And you, you start chatting. A, a real, a real attempt. A real not, attempt. Not, not like because what a lot of guys do is they want to circumvent, you know, responsibility, and they're like, hey, baby girl, what's up? Or they're like, cat call and hoot and holler because they know it's gonna, they're gonna get. That's re corny. They know that, they're gonna get rejected. That's so corny, right? Yeah. And, and it makes yeah. the dating. Uh, the, the, the 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 spot worse because the ladies already got their defenses up because the last five guys yes, have been facts. coming at him sideways just grabbing their arms like, do all that weird shit so we have to do that so I talk to these young guys and they tell me like man but like what if she says no and I'm like, I have a hard time having sympathy for people who are not even making the effort yeah yeah because they want to preserve their their self esteem so my problem is like and, and ladies the same thing too oh well, yeah I went on three dates in the last few well then die alone I don't care. <laughs> Hashtag Kevin Samuels. <laughs> yeah. How how are you experiencing the dating market as a single person? Please let us know down below. How are you navigating that pool, especially post the Rona and the panoramic? How are you navigating that sphere? Because it's very interesting how he's talking about effort, just putting that effort in, but also understanding that it is a risk. Um, there is rejection that will be there because you aren't everybody's cup of tea. Because if you were, you would be a mug. <laughs> and you're not trying to be a mug. That's okay that you're not everyone's cup of tea, but either way, you need to put yourself out there, okay? And this can be dating apps or just organically meeting people out you know, in the real world. Let us know if you're single, how are you navigating being single and looking, okay? Let us know. Why do you think you deserve somebody? First off, you're not the hottest girl on the block, mm -hmm. right? You don't have your shit together. You don't have too many great skills and you're not putting in effort. And your shit stink. That's arrogant. That's <laughs> arrogant. So, so, That's so to me, that's like the thing that really peeves me. It's like people complaining, oh, dating today sucks. Have you even tried? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel yeah. Like I'm both on both genders. Yeah, like men don't approach enough, and women yeah. don't feel the need to self improve and be pleasant. I know after what you said earlier, you said um, a lot of people don't do things to be desired. So earlier we spoke about the iPhone, right? Having an Android, right? So you have an Android, right? Right. And in the current dating market, a lot of girls won't say it abruptly. Some some will because they're just like very straightforward. But having the green bubbles is a turn off. Now you you made a good point. <laughs> If that turns her off, then she was into you in the first place. But why make it harder if you can make it easier? You get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it, it's it's, un things, it's unnecessary bump in the road that yeah. you don't want to have yeah. to deal with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're and right. We've had girls on the show even say it like, "Oh, but guys, when he hits me up, uh, and I see that, that he doesn't have an iPhone, and like they're gonna lose a little bit of attraction for him, which is stupid that this is the world that we live in it's now." Stupid. But 
do you get turned off if someone's at, um, team Android or team Apple? Please let us know down below. Because honestly, in the grand scheme of things, those are not the things that hold relationships and marriages together. You know, some people have a whole pet peeve of how the toilet roll needs to be up, down. Um, when you're the last person to put the sorry, when you're the last person to use the uh, toilet roll, make sure you take it off the thing and put a new one on. You know, pick your battles, okay? Because there are gonna be larger battles in the relationship and in um, marriages. So yeah, let us know. Are you, do you get a bit iffy? Do you cut people off if the person's team Android? Or should, actually, let me ask this instead. What's the smallest thing or the pettiest thing you've cut somebody off for let us know in the comments i want to know <laughs> yeah, okay and, and this is what i'm gonna say and this is where game meets character and this is what i'm gonna say mm -hmm. there's a lot of things i could do to improve my chances if i wanted right i could get my shape up done perfectly i could put on the right clothes i could put on the right outfit, accessories drive the right car live in the right area there's a lot of extra things that we could all do but you always have to say how much am i willing to give up to get what i want you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are certain lines that I just don't care to cross because it's not that important to me. You feel yeah. me? Right. And I always have to find that. There's like, bro, I've blown up my chances at pussy because I said what I was really thinking. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And I've so if too. we're being yeah. honest with ourselves, I've done if you want, yeah. it's the same thing with the iPhone. I could get that and it make it a little bit better. But I just really wanted an Android. So mm. if you're not going to fuck me with that Android, phone. get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's not that deep to me. The same way, yeah. I'm not going to say exactly what you want to hear just to get in your pants. It's not that deep. I love that about Abba and Preach because they live by what they say. Integrity is huge for them. They're not just going to say what you want to hear because they're trying to get into your pants. And if he is going to say that just to get into your pants, he will also let you know. I love that transparency. It's so ironic that they're talking about this and FNF um, have done what they've done. But yeah. Very interesting. Let's go. It, I've been done with that face. So mm -hmm. for me, I get what you guys are saying. You guys are not wrong about it will help you. But I always tell young men, yes, go for what you want. But also understand there's a point you don't want to cross where you're giving up too much. Just because you know those guys who do hold do anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. It's us. It's us. Uh, I'm just joking. Okay. Okay. And it's pathetic. Anything. Yeah. yeah. It is. It, it's actually, I would argue it's worse than the verges because... The verges, yes, they try to preserve themselves. These guys have no, they're so lost in the sauce. They're, they'll do anything for a girl. He's like, I can't even count on that man as a friend. Now you, because yeah, he, yeah. he'll drop friends to get laid. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so just him. find a line is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have that, that line defined. And once you start doing things for the express, you know, only purpose of getting girls and not necessarily for yourself, it doesn't enhance your life in some way or doesn't help you or benefit you. Then you need to start having that serious conversation with yourself in the mirror. And the thing is, is that, the beauty of it is you can't you can't tell a person, hey, your line is here, your line is here. It depends on you as the man. What do you want to give up? What do you not want to give up, et cetera? What, what are your personal boundaries? And that, that fluctuates greatly between men. But what we teach on our thing, mm -hmm. our platform is we always tell guys, if you can mitigate obstacles, right, that aren't going to be, how do I say this, that aren't going to severely inconvenience you, mm -hmm. then you should. For example, you probably should wear deodorant. <laughs> and maybe spray some cologne Cologne's before off. you go yes. to the bar. You yes. know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's reasonable. You probably should wear clean clo clean shoes and clean clothes even though you don't like doing laundry. You know what I'm saying? You probably should go to the gym even though you don't necessarily enjoy working out. So, Because a lot of guys won't even make these basic accommodations. You know you what I'm saying? You probably should clean your room as well. Exactly. Yep. You know? I think that's per that is so key. Um, well, um, not fresh, fit. Uh, Myron just said, it's so, so important to put effort in to show up as though you actually want to be there on the dating scene and that means putting that effort in behind the scenes okay so if it's working out eating right making sure you've got a good skincare routine making sure your mind is right making sure you're not coming in with baggage obviously that's what we do on this channel here where we're trying to heal our wounds by addressing our triggers and our traumas okay so that we can meet people authentically um i just absolutely love that I've got a whole segment coming up talking about fitness and how important it is for the mind, for the soul, for your spirit, and you're gonna love it. 
okay? It's all it's gonna be along the lines of reactions because I've come across a lot of conversations I think I can bring on this channel for all of us to grow, okay? So yeah, let's just continue. So so I would say at some point there's just like basic things that you need to have done, but I see your point as well, yeah. where uh, do you need to spend ten thousand dollars in the club to get bottles no. for the express reason to bring girls to your you table? Not do that. that right there. Stupid. Don't do that because we already when we've had plenty of girls come on the show yep. and literally say it right to our face. Yeah, I go to the club for free. I drink their liquor and then I go over to another table and just keep doing that, you know, leapfrogging it. So you got to be smart about and it. I, and I would say, this podcast would not be as popular as it was if you guys were willing to do anything for pussy. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You would not be kicking women at eight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is so ironic. Oh, this was posted. Wow. Three months ago. Well, that's when this... Uh, this clip was posted onto Fresh and Fit Clips. Um, I don't know if the actual um, podcast happened three months ago. But it's so interesting, isn't it? So, so interesting. Because yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you probably get laid a whole lot more if you kept the ladies on here and, and, and yes. did the smooth the game, and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there always comes a point where even you yourself, you won't compromise certain values because Absolutely. You know, so, so it just comes out that to me, it's like, I'm at a point because listen, I already did my dirt when I was much younger. Mm -hmm. So for me now, especially because I just work all the time, it's like I'm not getting iMessage to talk to you. It's like if you want time to get the fuck out of here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like really, my phone is like, oh no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with. Let's get there's a door. I don't even <laughs> yeah. need it that bad. And, and real talk, yeah. me and Fresh have lost hundreds of girls thousands. because of this, bro. Thousands. Like they have thousands of followers for him, and we've yeah. lost a bunch. Like oh, you guys are toxic, blah blah blah. I'm such and all this other crap, and it's like. Hey man, it's it is fine. what it is. Business. We're cool with losing chicks. Like we've gotten less chicks since we've been yeah. growing so fast. You sleep well. <laughs> I do. Hell yeah, excellent. But isn't, that's what isn't it a good feeling when you Fact. look yourself yeah. in the mirror and you're like, I didn't compromise myself. Yes. Yes. to get laid or to get somebody. But you know, it's funny. Absolutely. Again, I love how Abba brings it back home. Integrity, 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 and character. You know, behind the scenes and in front of the camera well in terms of this podcast but for us out in the dating market behind the scenes i.e in your house <laughs> and when you're actually out you know mixing and mingling with other human beings you know make sure your character okay whatever happens whatever shit hits the fan you you still you stayed true if i can talk today you stay true to yourself you stay true to your values your integrity your morals and your ethics and nobody can hold that against you if you guys do not know about abba and preach please 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 go check them out they also do reactions but it's a plethora of subjects it's not just about relationships but i just love their mindset it helps you get different perspectives um just so that you become a more well-rounded human being and for myself um heterosexual <laughs> is nice to get male perspective obviously kevin has my heart <laughs> But I won't preach. I've got my mediocre tutorials. I've got my poor man podcast. And I've I've been finding some new ones as well. And women as well. Re Rebecca. Rebecca Barnett. Or Rebecca Garnett. Which one is that? Let me just get it. So sorry, Rebecca. It's Rebecca Barrett. Or Barrett. I do apologise, my dear. But yeah, I've been coming across amazing content creators and I will be bringing them onto this channel so that you too can also start opening your mind um, and that will help you with um, attracting and keeping and maintaining healthier relationships because what your mindset is much more open okay if you love this video obviously don't forget to hit the like button and please 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 hit that subscribe button as well but until next time um, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.